Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Elric, back here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel, bringing you guys yet another video. Now, hopefully you guys saw all the videos we had this week of the 7950 series cards. We took a look at XFX. We also took a look at Sapphire. Today, what's next? Obviously, Crossfire. So today we took those two cards from two different manufacturers, put them together, and ran them in Crossfire to bring you guys the results. That said, let's jump right in and see how these bad boys do. Okay, so you guys saw the results. We're using the latest driver. You see results vary. You can get anywhere from 20 all the way up to over 100% just depending on the application and if the driver is actually geared for it. One thing I gotta say for advice, if you're gonna go ahead and put these cards in Crossfire, I would probably just go ahead and get the standard edition clock cards and then overclock them yourself. It's just better for matching. I had to go in and tinker with things to make these cards match up. I mean, it works, but if you just wanna have simple, no headache stuff, I would buy two matching cards. That way it'll be under a thousand dollars then it'll be cheaper than sli 580s or a set of 7970s from amd so basically i think this right now is the sweet spot for crossfire a pair of 7950s you can get them for about 800 dollars. a pair of amd 797s however is going to cost you 1100 dollars or more and the same thing with a pair of nvidia 580s so at the end of the day i say hey thumbs up I give these cards an editor's choice, not really just for the cards, but I give the crossfire in these cards an editor's choice for the product in which they're placed and the market they're aimed at, because I think it's a winner. See you folks back here on motherboards.org.